because my parents, when they came over today, they brought a bunch of blueberry and raspberry and blackberry plants. And so we're gonna plant them. This is where the house is. We've got this slope here that's pretty steep. It's actually too steep to mow. So we're actually gonna plant this whole hillside here and berries. So it'll be my berry patch. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to get the stuff. Look at all these plants. These are all berry plants. And then these are other plants that he brought us. Liriopes, and this is a sweet gum tree, and other decorative grasses, all kinds of stuff. They're working already. They're making progress. Burying the blueberries first. Because our soil here in Kentucky has a lot of clay, we put horse manure into every hole that we dug and planted the berries in, and then we covered the berries with mulch on top to keep the weeds and grass from growing up around them. Blueberries are done. We've got five. Now we're heading over here and we're doing raspberries. There's the first one there in the pot that we're gonna plant. The raspberry plants are going in well. We got three planted already. One, two, and three. These ones up close are bushes but the ones that are closer to the woods are actually climbers, so we're gonna put a trellis out and they will climb up the trellis. Doing good, babe. Dad, good job. Thank you, Weez. <laughs> my dad calls me Weez, or we. He's called me that all my life. James and my dad have two very good little helpers getting the mulch for them. So all the blueberries are here, all the raspberries are here, and then the blackberries are going over there on the other side of the truck. Good job, Elias. Good job, Levi. <clears throat> Like me. <gasps> Here, Papa. Right, Papa, you can take this big bucket that we're filling up. You're starting to do hard work, Mom. I know you're doing great, buddy. Do that is hard work. <clears throat> Now blackberries, James. Good job. Boys, you're doing great. Papa, get your bucket. Huh, this is an acorn that sprouted out of our manure in our compost pile that we're putting on these plants. But we are finished. We've got nine blackberry plants. We have got 11 raspberry plants and five blueberry plants. This is going to be a really nice berry patch. I am so excited about it. And my mom, I don't know if you can see her, but she's up behind me here. She's holding the baby. There's Mamma. James has some metal posts there because the next thing we bought is four grape plants. We have, these are what we call table grapes. They're eating grapes, not like Concord. So this is a seedless hemrod, and then we also have seedless Suffolk. And we're gonna plant them here across the bottom of this hill. And so James has the metal rods because we're gonna stake those up and then put metal wire across so that the grapes can grow similarly to how they do it like a winery. Perfect, I'm surprised you didn't hit a rock. I was waiting for that thing to hit a rock. Good, okay, okay. let's put up a few more. I'll go get some manure. Got my little helper. He's gonna help me get some manure out of our manure pile. Got some and we're going back because it's starting to rain. He's 
he's got all five posts in the ground. Now he's digging the holes for the plants. The plants are going in between each one. One, two, three, four. There's a wild boy up there on the porch. Got all the plants in the ground. Here they are. And now James is starting to put in the wire, which is right here. And that is gonna string across probably three, four, maybe five rows of that so that the grapes can grow along it. Looks good. Now I got the mulch up here in the back of the trailer and we're gonna put mulch on everything. They're done. It's kind of hard to see the wire because it's so skinny, but we have three layers of wire. We'll add some more later, but there's our plants. The boys are up on the porch. If you're a Harry Potter fan, they're yelling expecto patronum. <laughs> but anyway, these look good. It just rained pretty good for the past hour. So now all of our beautiful berries and grapes and everything are well watered. Oh, bless you. Mr. Nugget's in the carrier. He just sneezed. And this is a good view of what we did yesterday. Down here, this was so compacted in from driving the tractor and the quad on it so many times. And the soil here is horrible. It's just basically clay. So we were not going to get grass to grow here. James went and got a bunch of topsoil on the other part of the farm where we don't need it and dumped it in there along with a bunch of horse manure. And he tilled it up, planted some fertilizer, some grass seed, and then we put a bunch of straw on it. So hopefully this stuff will actually grow some grass this year. We did a bunch over here too. Here it is going down that way. We're over here working in this field today, doing some fertilizing and just getting some trash out. It's a really pretty day. House looks nice from over here. You can see where we reseeded grass around the house yesterday and put straw down. Looks pretty good. <laughs> this is so cute. They hiked back through the woods from feeding and watering and I guess they got hot, so they took their shirts off. That little trail is what cuts over to the barn instead of walking around close to the road. And you guys took the trail by yourself this time, didn't you? And mommy walked by the road. What a beautiful evening. I love all these trees blooming white over there. It's pretty. Here is an update on the berry patch. It is May 15th and everything is looking great. I do have to get the weed whacker out every couple of weeks just to kill the grass in between. We have to leave the grass there because if we don't, we'll just get a lot of runoff and washout on this hillside. So we have to have the grass roots to hold it together, but I don't mind weeding and everything in between the plants. It's looking really good. Grape plants are coming up. Raspberry plants are looking amazing. Blueberry plants are looking amazing. Blackberry plants on this other side are looking really good. We're not getting any fruit yet, but we should be getting some berries here soon. But that's kind of an update on this area. Looks really nice. <laughs>